I had a really good mom day yesterday. <laughs> and for me, a really good mom day is, um, you know, one where um, my son and I, we've had a really strong day of connection. But I've also facilitated connection for him with other people, you know, and that we've, you know, we've balanced the electronics and we've balanced our healthy foods with our sometimes foods. And, you know, we've, um, you know, we've cuddled and we've read books and, you know, just like checking off those lists of things like, yeah, man, we nailed it. <laughs> um, so I, I, I'm really lucky in that, um, you know, people tend to, oh, actually speaking of paradigms and beliefs, this is a belief I happen to have. Uh, accurate or not, uh, I feel like it's a helpful one, and I happen to believe it, so there's that. Um, the belief that I have is that uh, that I am lucky, and that people come into my life when I need them, um, and, and that I have good people in my life. And so, one of one of these particular people is this friend that I have, um, and she she just like brought me brought me into her family you know i spent so much time with toxic people bringing them into my family um you know friend friend group whatever uh and and so this person was bringing me into to her to her family her home her friends and just you know they love my kid and um he he gets opportunity so we basically like we went into quarantine we were all very like, okay, we're, we, we on our own, you know, connecting electronically. Uh, and then we kind of moved to um, seeing each other 12 feet apart in the driveway. <laughs> but um, we've kind of, you know, I think everybody kind of like gets down to the real core circle uh, with like a quarantine lockdown situation. So once they lifted quarantine here in our city, you know, we started spending time together, but not necessarily, you know, everybody um, and so I'm really grateful because uh, I can I feel comfortable bringing my son to her home and I'm sure she feels more comfortable um, having him there uh, you know but so he, he gets he gets to hang around other kids and go go on some you know have some kind of, of activities which I'm, I'm so grateful for um, but yeah so we had July 4th with with everyone over there yesterday and it was amazing uh you know actually thinking about it even even the toxic people came into my life to help me i feel you know and now i want to i want to point out like this is not this is not something anybody needs to believe for themselves you know this is this is this is a part of the the roadmap that is Inva's <laughs> paradigm of, of how the how the universe operates for her, um, you know, and, and my paradigm is that that people come into my life when I need them. So, for example, my ex, you know, I wasn't, I was, I was trying very unsuccessfully to get away out of the situation with my child's father, um, and I, I was not, I was, I had been spinning my wheels. I was stuck, um, you know, if it, if it weren't for you know, my abusive ex coming into the picture. If it weren't for the feelings that I had about him, I wouldn't have done a lot of the things that I've done. Um, even even my my ex friend, you know, who went into like <laughs> just unhinged mode on me. But you know, uh, I she was there for me <clears throat> when I was uh, dealing with the fallout from from my ex abusive partner <laughs> so you know it, it was like you know she was she was there when I needed someone to be there um, so on the one hand you know was I making great um, uh, people choices you know during that period of time not necessarily but I, I do hold that I do hold that belief that that people come into my life you know in ways that I need and I, I, there was something, you know, we were friends for, I want to say it was like February through maybe November or December, you know, for basically almost all of like what I would consider to be my horror movie year. Um, and she, you know, she was there for me in ways that were really helpful. And I'm glad we had a lot of conversations. Um, you know, she planted a lot of seeds 
uh, that I'm grateful for. So when you think about, you know, this is all an internal process for everybody, the healing process, the growth process, the learning process, the whatever process. It is all very internal. And so I don't, you know, please do not feel like I'm telling anybody that you have to change the way that you think. I'm just letting you know, here's a way that I think that I have found to be helpful. Um, and, it, and it gives me a lot of, a lot of, I, I feel a lot of, you know, appreciation. I feel a lot of gratitude. Honestly, man, I'll tell you what, that's like the, that's the best mentally, mental space that I've ever been in is one of just like being alert. Like, oh man, this is something to be thankful for. Wow. I really appreciate this. <laughs> like my car, my car uh, <laughs> has been stalling. Okay. So my, here's, here's another dumb belief that I have or whatever. Uh, so my car, it, it feels like every time I'm with him, it's fine. You know, trucking along. He <laughs> ha is one of the best mechanics I've ever known. And the benefit of dating a mechanic is that you didn't, then you have someone to fix your car. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, this is great, you know. But what would happen, so here we are. He leaves me to this other person, and then he comes back because she's, you know, she's how she is, and he's how he is. <laughs> and then so he comes back, and but I'm in pain, and, so, uh, and then he leaves, and then he comes back, and blah, blah, blah. So during this whole process, this is my fucking car. When I am with him, totally fine. When he is gone starts doing nonsense and I'm just I was like ah I got to the point where I was like wow I get to spend another fifteen hundred dollars <laughs> because this didn't happen when he was like why car why can't you why can't you do this shit when he's around like that would be part I would I would get the that benefit of that would be amazing but no that's not how it works anyway so right now my car is stalling because something called the IAC needs to be replaced but but then it goes away for a while. So I'll be driving and, and it'll, it'll idle a little roughly. And I'm like, Ooh, baby, no, you know, please don't, please don't stall on me. And then, and then it doesn't stall. And I'm like, Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. You know, it, again, um, yes, I'll get it fixed at some point when I have to money, you know what I mean? <laughs> not, not a lot of us are rich. And if you are, I good for you. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you're not, you know, you've got your own challenges that I don't want. Um, I'm, I'm okay with my challenges. <laughs> but anyway, so, you know, one day, one day I will get that fixed by somebody. I just, I don't feel like working over a thousand dollars right now for whatever it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, you know, that kind of constant, um, and I know it seems silly, but that constant paying attention for like, oh, is what's going on that I can be thankful for. Um, I've also, you know, I kind of touched on this in another video, you know, I'm coming back from being an atheist. So like there's a, there, for me, there's an element of like, you know, prayerful, you know, like being thankful to a God, universe, spirit, whatever. Um, like, I mean, I don't, I can't recommend that for anybody because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that that's true. I just know that it's something I started doing. So, but definitely like the the, the, the mental filter of looking out for things to be grateful for, that is, that works for everybody. It doesn't matter where you're at spiritually. Um, and it's truly like, so a lot of, a lot of the, the things that you see kind of law of attraction or manifesting and like kind of along the lines of that, it's like this idea that you're pulling this thing to you, you know, a lot of attraction. No. <laughs> And the interesting thing is, like, true law of attraction people will explain, you know, that, that it's not that way anyway. Uh, what it is is, okay, so they explain it in a weird way that also does not work for me. <laughs> They're like, you resonate at the frequency of the thing that you want to call into your life or you want to have or, or whatever. And, and, you know, once you're in alignment with that, it will come into your life. And I'm not, I'm not vibing with that either. <laughs> like, that's not, I don't, I mean, okay, I shouldn't, that's a paradigm that works for people. Good for them. That's fantastic. What works for me is recognizing this stuff's already in my life, you know? Oh, man. When you're thankful for things <laughs> and, and you're, you're paying attention, you're like, oh, it's here. 
it's here already. I already have such awesome stuff going on, you know, and, and there's no separation between you and whatever it is. There's no separation between you and, um, uh, whatever it, it's, it's the yearning. It's the grasping. It's the yearning. It's the grasping. Like that's, that's like, that's not in a, that's not an emotional space we need to want to be in. <laughs> you know, like, like the, the, the space we want to be in is like, it's here. I'm connected. We're, I'm, I'm already connected to that. You know, uh, it doesn't have to be mine. You know, I, I see it in the world. I see it here. I see it in me. Uh, so that's something that makes a lot more sense, but I'm not a law of attraction expert. I just, I'm just that person that like people will talk about things. I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> um, but I will say, so I was watching a video and uh, the dude's name is Rich Lop and he's like a tarot card dude. Now, I'm not recommending to anything for anybody. Uh, I just, you know, <laughs> I, 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 whatever. So he was talking about how he said, I don't care if you agree with me. I am more interested in how you think. Y'all, 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 y'all. That is 100% revelatory. Because think about it. We don't agree with everyone, you know? And it's really easy to end up avoiding conflict if you only hang out with people who agree with you. So like, for example, uh, my child's father and I, we didn't really have any conflicts, like, because we happen to be super, like our Venn diagrams super overlap in a, a whole lot of ways. So like lifestyle and political beliefs and, you know, music and da 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 and all this stuff. So like, we didn't really run up on a whole lot of conflict before our son was born. Uh, and so we didn't, you know, conflict started occurring and we didn't have like a, like a real template for dealing with it. Cause we, you know, so compatible. It's not really an issue. <laughs> and it's not to say that, you know, certain things didn't occur and looking back and go, Oh yeah. Okay. I see, I see, I see where that was going now. Um, I see where that pattern, you know, those, those breadcrumbs were, but just in general, like we were real chill and low key. Uh, so, you know, we didn't get the opportunity to experience conflict, to see, oh, this is how this other person thinks. This is how this other person operates. Um, you know, it, it was always, it was always me. Like if something did occur, it was always just me on my end, like thinking about it and coming to conclusions and then like telling him about it. That's, that's what it was. You know, there was no mutuality in that process. Uh, which, yeah, to be fair, was actually, now that I think about it, a really fair indicator of what our conflict situation ended up looking like. <laughs> <laughs> when shit got real. Um, so, you know, one thing that would show up, one, one thing I like to do, and I've mentioned this before, you know, that people show you who they are when they think they're right, right? Um, that's, that's a really good indicator of like, who, who, what kind of person am I dealing with? And, you know, with my, with my ex, he absolutely needed for everyone to agree with him. You know, it wasn't enough to say, oh, this is, this is how I think. You know, this is the conclusions I'm drawing. I would really appreciate it if you would X, Y, Z. Like, no. No, he, he needed people to change their minds, to change their thoughts and beliefs, to change their actions. Like it wasn't enough to just request like, hey, I have, or to set a boundary. Like he didn't set boundaries. Uh, he, he just tried to, you know, convince you you were wrong. And so you would just start doing what he wanted. You know, it, was, it wasn't enough for you to change your behavior. You needed to change your mind. Um, oh, there's something I'm trying to think of. Hold up. Oh yeah, one of the tools I like to use to help me get a handle on like, okay, how do I how do I analyze this situation effectively? Is to assume, let's assume everything this other person is saying is true, right? As a as a thought experiment, hypothetically. Hypothetically, let's say everything that my ex would say to me was true. Let's say everything that my ex-friend would say to me is true. Let's say all those things are true. Well, okay, starting from that premise, how do we look at the situation? What conclusions are we drawing? Is what they're saying uh, reasonable is how they're acting reasonable. Uh, so one of the things that my ex-friend 
did oh she said oh man it was a horrible series of texts holy shit um I, I mean, I screenshotted that shit and sent it to some mutual people, and I just said, listen, be careful. You know, this is, she's in a bad place because of quarantine, and it's affecting her mental health, but, like, be aware. <laughs> um, gosh. So, anyway, she sends me this series of texts where, where before, mm, let me not even provide that context. So, in the text, she's saying that I'm an abusive parent, and it's, or no, no, that's not what it was. Uh, that uh, I was the one who was abusive in my relationship with my ex and that it's no wonder my son doesn't love me, you know, because I think, like, I'm essentially a bad mom or something to that effect. I, I could go get it, but why bring that negativity? We don't need to. But here's the thing. Let's take that as accurate, okay? So let's say I'm the abusive partner. Let's say I'm a bad mom, right? Why were you my friend? Why were you someone who, why were you choosing to spend time with me? Why were you choosing to drive to my city, my state, to stay with me, to spend time with me and my child? Uh, as a mandated reporter, if you thought that I was unsafe, you know, bad mom, why didn't you report me to CPS? Um, if you felt like I was abusive in my last relationship, um, why did you make all of these comments? Why did you tell me the things that you told me? <laughs> Does it make, does that person's actions in and of themselves make sense? So assuming she's correct and I am a terrible, like I'm a terrible person in these very specific ways, what does that say about them? Even if it's correct, still not a safe person, still not making good choices. You know, I don't have to come at it from a perspective of, oh, I'm right. I can come at it at a perspective of, well, okay, let's say I'm wrong. Let's look at this, you know? Um, that's a really helpful tool because we do, we do, we can get caught up in like, oh no, I'm right, I'm right, ex, ex partner. <laughs> you know, getting getting caught up in the like, I'm right about it. Well, you know, just like let that let that go for for two minutes and just think about, okay, let's say let's say they're right and I'm wrong. Are they behaving reasonably? Are they unhinged? Are they safe? If this is correct, what do they make choices that make sense? No, if this is not internally consistent. Okay, this person is not a reliable narrator. And you can go, all right, I don't need to give this credence. This is not something I need to pay attention to. It's not reliable. I don't need to internalize it. A uh, huge, 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 huge way of, you know, when you get turned around, which I was for many years, when you get turned around and, and you start going, oh God, is, is it me? Am, am I the one? I, you know, and you, you, lose, you lose your grounding. You know, fine. Take what they're saying to you. It's truth. Is it true? You know? I will say one thing my ex was always very adamant about, um, you know, is he was like, you're the best mom I know. He's like, I've never seen anyone be as good a mom as you. He never, he never ever said anything that would undermine my parenting like skills and abilities. In fact, that was probably the one area that he was really supportive in. Um, and that was something that I needed. You know, again, came into my life when I needed, and I needed him. Uh, and I don't need him, you know, and I, I don't need his unintentional abuse and I don't need his judgment and I don't need his criticism and I don't need his negativity, you know, but I can, and, and I'm not saying everyone needs to do this. Everybody's own path is different. I just, I know for me that I couldn't release him in this place of like, I hate him because I don't. It's not true for me. You know, trying to make myself feel that way just didn't work. Uh, shifting to a place of I love him, but I'm so grateful. Now I gotta let him, that, that is a way I can let him go. Uh, that's been the thing that works. You know, that, that I can recognize my feelings and connection for the him. Um, you know, same thing with my former friend. I don't, I care about her still. Um, I so appreciate how she showed up in my life. But, you know, I move into a different a different place and, and not one where, um, not one where what some of the things they have to bring are helpful for me. You know, and it's, it's okay. It's okay to make that choice. 
from a place of compassion. And also, if you're not there, it's okay to not like make that choice from a place of compassion. You know, we all we all have to like work with what our belief system is and where we're at. You know, and that's just that's where I'm at. You know, for good or bad. Um, anyway, I hope you all have a really great day, and I'll talk to you next time.